So okay, today I want to talk about how you can connect your physical Vision Pro to your MacBook for, well, obviously running your own app. So I'm gonna put it right there. So I just got this um, AV, um, AVP, I'm just gonna say it AVP because it's a lot easier for me to say, um, like just now and been playing with it just a little bit and I want to run my own app on it. But as you can see, it can't really find it. And um, because you have to actually like manually edit here and you can go to uh, manage run destination and as you can see you really don't like see anything in here uh, it's because it's not like a paired with it yet so you want to go to general uh, and then you can go to this uh, remote devices and you can uh, it'll, uh, it'll say you're ready to pair and then light and then you'll see this Apple Vision Pro showing up here. It may not show up in the first place. Um, obviously, you have to run. Uh, you uh, you have to be uh, running like uh, um what is it um this on M1 M1 or like a greater and I um and Sonoma 14.2 or greater. And for your Xcode, it has to be 15.2 uh, beta or newer. So um. So, and if it still doesn't show up, you want to reboot your AVP and your laptop, like just the laptop in general, and then uh, and then boot up Xcode and then boot up your AVP and then go through this procedure one more time. Anyway, um, you can go ahead and hit the pair button and then you will see this uh, six digit code and then you can just type that in. 905287. And then you can hit connect in here and then as you can see you'll see this like uh, remote devices in here and oh you can actually move your stuff around here oh that's pretty nice scroll down just a little bit and then you want to go to this privacy and security and then enable the developer mode otherwise it's gonna complain and let's see yeah I'm purposefully looking away because it's gonna well show my IME number and like a serial number and everything you know what fuck it I'm just gonna edit this out later and then as you can see it has been edited I um I edit this before and then removed it and then um, do it all over again just to show you guys how to do it uh, but for my first time, it was pretty slow. It took about like a three to five minutes to set everything up and uh, set up everything up until I was able to well, basically like a run, run my own app in this one. I'm just gonna close that out just a little bit so I can actually show you what my uh, tutorial app looks like in an actual um, vi uh, Vision Pro app. Still a touch. Uh, <sighs> I forgot to run this on an actual device. I really gotta name this better, other than Apple Vision Pro, because it's gonna. <sighs> it's gonna confuse uh, confusing me even more. Anyway, um, we're still loading. As you can see, I'm gonna speed this up a little. Then, oh hello there this is my biological daughter Gucing. say hi um, I'm gonna load up that uh, remote as a reality view because that's the um, latest we worked on I'm gonna hit this up and since the zero 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 point is where I'm sitting at like it's gonna load up here and as you can see we can move the asset around uh, just by pinching it and then just like dragging around like so right now uh, it doesn't look great with the uh, the lighting and stuff I don't think it, the light um, thing has been set up yet so maybe I'll um, maybe I'll work on that later uh, it's kind of getting like a little sloppy out there but anyway we can move around and that was the lesson uh, last time we did right
Okay. Uh, good thing. Leave it there. So yeah, this was a pretty quick video uh, to like show you how you can like uh, set your uh, set your AVP uh, for your development. I will see you in the next video. I'll probably cover this lighting issue or maybe uh, the world anchor issue and uh, some, uh, something like that. I'm not sure if it just comes like out of the box or anything. Let me uh, let me do some more research and I'll get back to you. And uh, thanks uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.